Welcome to Killer What Hour on Levy Channel. Today I have an interesting uh, news to report uh, about uh, EV charging uh, in the state of North Carolina. Well, there's another st uh, bill that was introduced in the House of Representative uh, State House um, about EV charging and uh, when it comes to icing EV charging station. And I'm sure a lot of people in other states i've experienced situations like that too uh, i kind of experienced that about three weeks ago um but i didn't th i thought about making a video about it but i i decided not to because like eh, i mean i'm not the first person that will ever get encounter somebody uh icing a ev charging station until uh, i saw an article on my news feed on my on my phone and it's like huh interesting so um people are really tired of situations like this and uh they decided to uh to take action about it by you know reporting situation like this to uh to politicians uh, to to make sure this doesn't happen uh, before i start uh before i proceed uh please for, don't forget to subscribe like and share the channel and also hit the uh, thumbs up the like uh, that help with the youtube algorithm and uh, also it um, helps with the uh, channel growing and being recommended uh, to other viewers. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you very much to all my subscribers and all my viewers. Thank you uh, to all that posted comments on some of my videos. I'm able to, it, I was able to respond back. Um, it might be delayed a little bit uh, due to some personal situations that I might be, that I have. Um, you know, I just have a new uh, child, a child added to the family. So uh, I'm still in a daddy mode right now trying to take care of a new baby. So uh, please uh, my, uh, bear with me. All right. So, but I will respond to your emails uh, or to your comments. Um, and uh, if you are a manufacturer that wants to uh, reach out to showcase your product, reach out to me at uh, KWHO. O N L Y E V at gmail dot com and that will be posted in the in the description description. All right, so now let's go back to to the news. So I saw that about uh, three hours ago uh, when I decided to make this video um, about the North Carolina uh, House Bill two fifty five, um, which. Uh, this bill will um, crack down on ICE vehicle blocking uh, the EV charging stations in the state of North Carolina. Um, I experienced this about three weeks ago um, when I was uh, when I went to the hospital my, after my wife delivered a, a child, and um, I just I was trying to park at one of the charging stations. Then I decided not to since I have enough enough range. So I moved my car. As I was about to move my car, I saw this uh, white Volkswagen Jetta was backing up. I thought maybe he was just trying to back in and exit out. And um, as soon as I, I waited a little bit, then I saw the guy came out with another guy on the passenger side. And um, and I just like you know, I was just curious, like you know what? Let me just let me know. Maybe they were not. Maybe they're not sure. Maybe they didn't know that my car is an electric vehicle. You know, because not a lot of people knows that my EV6 is an electric vehicle until I, I tell them, it's like, hey, it is a full electric vehicle. So oh, and then I ask the guys, like, hey, uh, you know that this is uh, an EV charging station only, right? I mean, EV charging only, right? And it's like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, this is a, a electric uh, jetter or something like that, EV jetter. I said, EV jetter, really? It's like, you know, I've been sarcastic. It's like, really, that's that's electric vehicle? And it's like, uh, so what's your business? It's like, uh, are you a uh, uh, EV police? It's like, I said, no, okay. Since it's getting to that point, it's like, okay, I'm not going to be going back and forth with an idiot that um, that's trying to, you know, cause some issues. Like, listen, it's, it doesn't belong to me. So um, I'm sure the hospital uh, management or knows about this issue but maybe if not maybe they need to work on that um talking about atrium health um so i decided to leave it's like hey 
I'm not trying to get for some BS, you know. Who knows? But anyway, so I went on my own. And that's how it was. And uh, I decided not to do anything because, like, I mean, I'm not going to be the first person that will encounter um, some idiot trying to block a charging um, spot. So um, I saw the video. Um, it is from one of the TV, local TV uh, station in Charlotte. And, um, and it will explain to you a little bit uh, how um, the, the, pretty much they will explain. Let's go ahead and uh, listen to this. Now it is just frowned upon, but if some lawmakers in Raleigh get their way, parking in an EV spot with a gas-powered vehicle could soon become illegal. Our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, explains the potential implications of regulating EV charging stations. EV charging stations are popping up all over the country, North Carolina included. According to Liberty Plugins, there are around 860 public charging stations here in the Tar Heel State. But Democratic Representative Julie Von Hafen says despite the surplus of charging spots, her constituents have been dealing with a reoccurring problem. It really actually came from a constituent um, who owns an electric vehicle and was saying, you know, that there's so many times that like he goes to charge the vehicle and there's a combustion engine vehicle parked in that space. Representative Von Hafen Just to let you know, if you're a North Carolina resident, I need you to call your representatives and your state senators to support this bill, okay? Um, because this will help a lot of EV owners in the state. Um, because th this is ridiculous that people are doing this and they're getting away with it. And it's about time that people are being held accountable for the decision on, you know, making things inconvenient for the people. It's not fair that people... I mean, EV owners, we, de we depend on uh, charging stations, infrastructure, for us to be able to have, I uh, mean, to be able to drive around. And if somebody is blocking the, the charging spot for you to charge your car, you might get stranded somewhere. I don't see any EV owners going to a gas station and blocking um, a ga ga gas pump just for the sake of it, that they don't want people to, you know, to pump gas into their vehicle, you know. So let's go back. To the um, to the news of report owns an electric vehicle herself and has dealt with this issue firsthand, which is why she decided to join Republican Representative Harry Warren in drafting House Bill 255, the Regulate EV Charging Stations Bill. We actually have a lot of EV charging spaces in downtown Raleigh that I see every day that there's vehicles parked there that shouldn't be. And right now, there's no regulation over who can park in the spaces. The way House Bill 255 is written right now, violators would pay a $100 fine if they get caught parking in an EV spot. Though that... I believe that should be more than that. The, the violation fee should be at least maybe $500. Because if somebody get $500 fine, they will know they don't have to do that BS, okay? I feel like $100 is is not enough is too low and they might get a situation where the court might get it tossed out you know so um and uh it need to be enforced as well because some people can't come out and lie um you know and try to get out of you know that fine and stuff so um i, I feel like the, the the penalty need to be hefty so that people won't you know uh, won't won't try and get away with that. That find a loophole to get out of it. <laughs> it might not seem like much for violating a state law. Representative Dean Arp said it could come along with some hefty court fees, similar to the ones you'd get with a traffic violation or speeding ticket. The fine for that was just um, very very high. I thought to give you a perspective, um, the fine for going more than 16 miles over the speed limit is only $50. Um, and it just seems uh, a very high fine that's uh, out of proportion with the public safety risk. Both sponsors of the bill have said they're open to lowering the fine. House Bill 255 passed through the Transportation Committee on Wednesday, and now it's heading to the Regulatory Reform Committee. As so, um... Yeah, I, 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 I don't I don't like this for the fact that 
they are already trying to drop down the fine so anybody i mean if they try to drop it to like 20 i mean five or fifty dollars well i mean somebody might just decide to be a, be a jerk and still uh, trying to pay the 25 dollars or 50 dollars and still trying to get away get out of it you know so but i hope the bill pass um because this will will stop all this nuisance and all the stuff that the you know these individuals been doing at the you know parking at a ev parking spots so uh if you're a north carolina resident please reach out to your state senate senator and uh, state house rep representatives to vote for this bill so that this will prevent um individuals that are known for uh parking on ev parking spots you know this will deter them from doing it you know so um that's all I have on this um, on this bill. Um, what's your opinion about this? You know, if you agree or disagree with this, you know, leave a uh, comment. Leave your comment, and uh, let's discuss about this. If you agree with this, that's great. And if you are out of state uh, resident uh, viewer, you know, maybe your state needs to introduce a bill like this as well and uh you know so that uh, we won't have to have face issues like this um even if you disagree let's leave your comment as more as long as it is uh respectful um you know any uh disrespectful comment you won't see it so just letting you know you know so um but thank you for listening to this uh news report please subscribe like and share the channel and uh, also if you haven't subscribed please do all right, see you in another video. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye-bye.